Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the New Construction Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Anya Chrysanthan, and I am very excited to introduce our guest for today. Her name is Ingrid Prince, and Ingrid is with Trendmaker Homes. She is an online sales counselor. So welcome to the show, Ingrid. I'm so happy that you are with us today. Hey, Anya. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor. Very excited uh, to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys, Ingrid and I met at IBS this year, and um, <laughs> we actually had a funny moment together in the bathroom working the zipper of a dress. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be our little secret, Anya. Now I'm everybody. Not telling anybody. <laughs> Yes, she was a lifesaver, that's for sure. <laughs> so we got to know each other uh, up close and personal. Uh, that's right. So Ingrid, if you don't mind telling us a little bit about your journey um, through um, your career progression if, you know, um, in the home building industry and uh, kind of what, what is it that you're doing now? Sure, absolutely. Thank you. So I've actually been in the home building industry for quite some time now. So I started back uh, when I lived in Florida and started with a national home builder. Uh, and I actually worked in general real estate uh, when I first initially got my license. But since then, I always knew that I wanted to be in home building, uh, new construction more specifically. So uh, when I moved to Dallas, I actually started my career, opened up um, a new division for MI Homes, and then I um, was actually offered an opportunity by Dunhill Homes, now known as Trendmaker Homes, um, to be their online sales counselor. So basically, I launched their online sales program with the help of the world-renowned Do You Convert My Client and team. Uh, so he actually was my mentor uh, throughout the whole entire process, and I certainly attribute a lot of my sex success to uh to do your convert so um and now you know i've been doing it since back in 2014 now um and i just absolutely love it so it's been it's been a great experience so far awesome so shout out to my client and the team at do you convert for uh yeah it's uh, it's funny so the um episode previous to you um, somebody else also attributed their success to my client. So my client's blowing up. So clearly we need to have him um, and his team on, on the show. So that's right. That's right. They'll definitely give a lot of fantastic tips and tricks to be a successful online sales counselor. So, um, so it sounds like you started off selling homes um, it, as a general realtor, then you transitioned into, were you doing sales for new, new construction before you got into an online sales? Yes, I did. So I was on site selling new homes, uh, basically uh, did everything from, you know, the typical discovery and, you know, starting the entire process from meeting and greeting all the way up to closing. So, yep, I was on site for about uh, four years uh, okay. prior to doing on online sales. Okay, so interesting. So for somebody, um, I guess, why, like, why did you decide to transition from that to online sales? And can you talk to us a little bit about the differences of what it takes to be successful in the model versus online sales? Um, and sure. Kind of likes, dislikes, if, in case somebody's considering that switch. Sure. So for me, um, in particular, I would say that the reason why I ended up switching from on-site to online was because of the flexibility of you know the schedule so for me i have a family and being an online sales counselor and being you know on call or available 24 7 allowed me to have a flexible work schedule but still gave me the opportunity to be able to work with customers which is what i absolutely love to do to help them find their dream home so i was still able to help you know, in the process and still gave me that satisfaction to be able to, to help families find their dream home, which, you know, which is absolutely, you know, the American dream, right? So, you know, the big differences that I would say is that the one thing that I do miss is, is carrying the whole, 
you know, the, the, the families throughout the entire process um, from, be, from being on site, right? So online, I think the difference maker for successful online sales counselors is when you do a successful discovery, right? So um, for me, at least, it's not just about setting the appointment. It's really getting to know the prospect in finding out exactly what they're looking for in their next home. So really do finding out what their current dissatisfaction is, what they don't love about their current home or their current situation, and finding out what their future promise is, what they're looking for in their next home, what's going to make their life so much better. And by doing that, it allows me to find them the perfect community and really narrow down a specific one or two homes for them to look at. So that way, when I schedule that appointment, I am able to transfer all of that information to my on-site sales team and they can pick up right where I left off. So the sales process ends up becoming much shorter for the online or on-site sales team and they're able to write the sale most of the time during the first initial visit. That's amazing. So would you say compared to being a sales rep in the model to being an online sales counselor, do you still find that um, do you find any resistance with people answering your questions or how do you um, position it? Because I'm sure, you know, sometimes during the discovery process, they're like, what's with all the questions? Like, you know, I didn't sign up for this interview. And it's really, uh, you know, you're trying to figure out what is right for them so that you can eliminate all this time going, you know, oh, so you go to this community, check out this community, check out that community, this model, that model. So you're essentially trying to just cut it out and say, okay, based on what you're looking for, this is the community for you and these two floor plans could potentially work. So do you set the expectations in that way or how do you um, get them to open up? Exactly. So, well, the biggest thing is, so one of my other mentors in the industry has been Jeff Shore and his, his, one of his sayings is always be coffee worthy. So for me, when I have the conversation with a prospect over the phone, I really, you know, it's just a conversation. It's not about me asking how many bedrooms are you looking for? How many bathrooms? What, you know, because every single home builder in the nation has the exact same thing. So for me, it's really just getting to know them a little bit. And sometimes it is a lot more difficult because it is over the phone. And a lot of the times people just, when I pick up the phone and I say, thank you for calling Trendmaker Homes, how can I help you? They're like, oh, I wanna to talk to somebody on site. And what I do is, you know what? That I can, I can certainly understand that. I'm actually, I actually work at all of our communities and how can I help you? So I just continue the conversation. I don't let it get to me, which I think that's where a lot of folks have the difficulty when they, you know, when online sales counselors receive the call and they say, I want to talk to somebody on site, they tend to tense up because that's, that's typically an objection, right? Mm -hmm. So you just overcome that objection or you just bypass it and just say, hey, I can help you in any of the communities. And that was my biggest, you know, initial struggle was that, people would think that I don't have the information that they're looking for. So I made it a point to make sure that I had everything that I needed to know that I can provide to my prospects so that they don't have any, you know, resistance to the information that I'm giving them. So when I, when I ask them what they're looking for, I, I turn it into a conversation to where it's not just drilling the 25 questions of what they're, what they want, you know? Yep. So that's been that's been my little secret sauce so. <laughs> so you guys try to make it as conversational as possible right you exactly. don't ask question after question after question maybe preface it as to why you're doing this and how this is going to help so that's always exactly great. and it you know and it's always great because you know i i do because i'm passionate about what i do and i love what i do i do have a genuine interest in knowing more things about my prospects so you know when you have that passion you and you have that genuine interest everything else comes naturally great awesome so do you find a, a major difference in the way people open up and the way people divulge information to you whether it's over the phone or online and do you have a preference for one over the other so like chatting versus talking yeah so uh, my overall goal is to always get them on the phone because mm -hmm. i feel like i can have obviously better conversation and make better con connection versus when i'm texting or when i'm you know just responding to an email mm -hmm. so that that goes into play where you know where i've used video so much because if 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 
prospects that I'm emailing or texting don't have a face to my name, mm -hmm. I don't really make that connection and the credibility is just not there. So that's why video messaging has been so crucial to my success. So perfect transition. Okay. So <laughs> Ingrid, um, what we're going to talk about today is how you and your company use video to increase the conversion rates to make it a smoother process for the prospects. So when they're coming into the model home, they're not asking for Ingrid, right? Because so many of us have experienced <laughs> that. It's like, oh, where's Ingrid? Uh, you know, Ingrid's my girl. I've been talking to Ingrid. I, 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 and that's, that's the person I want to see. So let's talk about specifically how you guys use video, um, how many different videos you use through different touch points and um, see what we can teach our listeners um, you know, about video and how to really speed up the relationship through use of video. Because after all, other than face-to-face, -face, video is the next best avenue to build relationships, right? Exactly, exactly. So we actually have a heavy video touch point, especially for those that um, that I just haven't made a connection with over the phone. Mm -hmm. So typically what I do is when I receive a lead online, mm -hmm. um, I send an, an, an initial, excuse me, an initial uh, video introducing myself. So basically saying that way they can put a face to the name and they know that I am a real live person who is looking to help them find their next home. So by doing that, they, they know me initially and sometimes they won't even respond to that video and that's okay. The, the purpose of that initial video is so that they get to know who you are and you're not just some person in another country trying to help them. You know, so uh, the initial video is key to being that coffee worthy, being a friendly face. Okay, so let's talk about the initial video. So mm -hmm. do you have like a one video that you have shot that you use for everyone or is that something that you shoot for every single person a different video? Sure. So what I've done in the past is that I do have a general video, say not using any specific name. So that way, because of the amount of leads that we get, it's just not feasible for me to be able to shoot personalized videos every single time. Yeah. However, once I do make that connection and I do have a phone conversation with that person or even texting uh, be because you know texting is obviously a little bit more personalized as well uh, I do personalize a video and I will use that prospect's name and you know sometimes I, I have you know little props and I write their name on a whiteboard just so that they know that it is personalized to them because once you make that connection everybody likes to see their name right everybody likes to hear their name so when that happens again you're just planting an additional seed to say hey I'm I'm a trustworthy person I'm your friend and it's okay let's just have a conversation okay so let's walk um, through that initial video so what do you say in, an, in that initial video um, so that if somebody's trying to recreate that same uh, touch point, you know, what kind of information do you include? What do you say to, to make that warm transition? Well, you know, it's funny because I've never been, you know, a script type person. Mm -hmm. However, since I've been doing this for since 2014 now, I actually end up saying the exact same thing for every single prospect, mostly because it's worked for me. And the verbiage that I use is, you know, is pretty specific. And I, and I have a specific call to action at the end. So basically, in the beginning, I, I introduce myself, and I tell them who I am and what I do. And basically, you know, their, their goal is to be able to find the right community and the right home for them. So just explaining to them that we have communities all over the Metroplex. And my goal is to help guide them to making the right purchasing decision. Mm -hmm. So then I have a specific call to action at the end. I say my phone number twice. That's a, a little tip from Do You Convert from my client. Mm -hmm. Say your phone number twice so that they remember. Um, and then have them and just ask for the appointment and the majority of the time they will actually say oh my gosh this is the first time that I received a video email yes let's schedule an appointment or let's schedule a phone call at least at the very least and the majority of the time I would say 99% of the time when I get them on the phone I always get the appointment wow that's amazing okay so sounds like 
if your company has the ability to invest into shooting that initial video, it may be worthwhile to get a potentially professional crew, but you don't certainly have to do that, right? You can use your iPhone. I mean, we, we can all shoot a video and it's really easy to edit that video in iMovie and it doesn't have to be any kind of a crazy elaborate production. Now, how do you, Absolutely. Um, how do you send that video? So once you have that video, do you host it on a YouTube channel? Do you, do you send a link to that YouTube channel? Do you embed it in the email? There's different programs like Boom Boom. They're available that you sure. can send video directly. So what, what is it that you guys use? So it's funny that you say that. So we actually, the majority of our videos are shot just on my iPhone. So we don't typically use a big production company or anything like that. More recently, we just started doing that because, because some of the videos that we do use are going to be utilized uh, for marketing purposes. So we do spend a little bit more money on that. However, uh, in initially, I actually just shot it from my, my cell phone and the, when I first started shooting it, we were using a program called BombBomb, um, and you can go on BombBomb.com, and they will actually, uh, it's a great platform. Uh, it actually allows you, once you record the video, they have a phone app that you can record and shoot videos with. They have an integration with Gmail, and it also integrates with Outlook, so it's absolutely fantastic. It makes it easy for you to shoot your videos. Uh, they provide you links, HTML links. They, they give you links for embedding everything, so it's absolutely great. However, more recently, we just started using Vidyard, um, which is, is it again? again? Vidyard, V-I-D-Y-A-R-D, which is very, very similar to BombBomb. Bomb. However, their platform is a little bit more user-friendly. They have some fantastic templates that you can utilize as well. Uh, does the same features where they give you embedded embed links, um, but we just found that it's a little bit more user-friendly and we're able to track things more. Uh, the great thing about both uh, programs, you can actually see or get notification how many times people have viewed your videos. Mm -hmm. So when I send those personalized videos, you know when that prospect actually opened that video and watched it, which is absolutely cool because then you know that they're, you're getting that connection, you're getting that FaceTime with them. So both, both uh, programs are absolutely great. I can't speak enough about both. Absolutely. So you guys, the reason why you may want to consider one of those programs over just uploading a video to YouTube and sending it out is that cool thing is when you open up that email, you'll actually see a video preview. So you'll, it's going to be like an option where you just click on the video directly in the email and it'll play instead of just having a link in your email, which I'm sure the click through rate is going to be much slower on a link and a lot of people are suspicious about clicking a link versus just clicking on the video. Am I right there? That's absolutely correct. So previously it was just a static image and even with the static image, the click throughs were not as, as high as they have been now that they have the, uh, the video actually playing. So it's similar to, uh, you know, is it a GIF or a GIF? however you yeah. call it. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Right, exactly. So yeah, it's fantastic. So when people see, especially when you customize it and when you personalize it with their names on that whiteboard and they see that you're moving around and you're actually talking to them, the click-through rate goes through the roof. Mm -hmm. And um, just a full disclaimer that the both programs are um, a service, it's a subscription service, but that's something you may want to uh, explore with your company and see if they'd be um, willing to purchase that for you because I think it's definitely a fantastic way to connect with customers and um, see the results. So that's, that's the thing is when you're sending it out, you can see if somebody clicked on it, if somebody watched it. So y your follow-up becomes a lot easier as well there. All exactly. right. So we talked about um, the initial video. Mm -hmm. How many other videos do you typically do with just, you know, say your typical <laughs> prospect that you take through the process? Is that one you video? Know, uh, yeah. There's, uh, honestly, I... I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I am known as the video queen. Like I will send a video all the time, okay. uh, but 
you know, it, I'd say at the very, you know, least I send at least four to five videos. So wow. I, that's the initial video. And then once I schedule like, the appointment, mm -hmm. I actually send out several, a couple of appointment videos. So the first one would be an appointment reminder. And that gives me the opportunity. These videos are actually shot with my on-site sales counselors. So basically when I schedule the appointment for that particular community, whoever my on-site sales counselor is to that community is in the video with me. So it allows me to, again, introduce myself and, and then gives me the opportunity to remind them of the VIP tour for the following day. But also it gives me an opportunity to introduce to them my on-site sales counselor who they will be meeting. Because in the beginning, you were absolutely right. People were saying, I want to talk to Ingrid. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Ingrid. So this actually eliminated a lot of that where it's it's me the the person that they trust telling them that hey you're going to be meeting with this other person who i work alongside with mm -hmm. i've told them everything that we've discussed they know everything about you and then it, it gives my on-site sales team the credibility that they need to be able to pick up where i left off and mm -hmm. take it to the finish line wow what a great warm transition here right like you're uh, you're saying okay here's the appointment I set up for you and here's the person you're going to meet so in this case how do you do it do you, I mean I can't imagine that you're running to the, <laughs> the, the particular <laughs> site every single time you schedule uh, an appointment to shoot this video with them so what's the logistics there Right. So this actually did take quite some time. Now, I don't actually use, this isn't a personalized video. It's a general video. So that way I could use it over and over. Uh, so it's basically just introducing myself, the on-site sales team, and then just letting them know that we've discussed. And because we have, I discuss every single prospect with every single one of my on-site sales team so that they know that, you know, that it is a warm handoff. And the great thing is, is that, you know, there's nothing more frustrating to a buyer uh, when they think that they're going to have to retell their whole entire story. So when that happens and they're able, my on-site sales team is able to pick up, it, it's just, it works like magic. So it did take a little bit of time because we have a lot of communities and a lot of on-site sales counselors. Mm -hmm. So once we were able to create those, um, those videos you could use it over and over and over so it's certainly worth the time to do it and you figure how much time it saves you right you create this almost like a library that you have and so basically the so the video is not going to mention the specific time for your appointment so you probably just put that in your email body right saying hey just a reminder your appointment is with so and so tomorrow at whatever and there's the video saying hi so happy exactly. you scheduled this appointment. This is going to be Susie. You're going to be meeting with Susie. I already told Susie all about what we've discussed with you. So she's going to be taking great care of you. Exactly. Right. That's exactly that's exactly it. So we send the video the day before their VIP tour, mm -hmm. and then uh, they also get receive a separate email stating the logistics of their appointment. So the location, the date, the time. Map, a map as well as um, specific or general uh, directions on how to get there. Simple directions. So yeah, so it, it makes it easy for them. And if you know, if they need to reschedule or modify their appointment, they it's easy. For, it's easy for them to do. And I bet you the show up rate to those appointments goes up versus you just sending an email saying, "Okay, you're confirmed for so and so." Um, exactly. Have you noticed exactly. the difference there? Yes. Yeah, so we have about a ninety to ninety-five percent uh, show rate wow. based on based on how we schedule our appointments. Uh, so it, it, I'd say that because of the tools that we have in place and the things that we're doing, mm -hmm. it, it has certainly increased our show rate. Wow, that's amazing. So you guys, it's a it's an easy trick, and what's your um, appointments actually? show up instead of you sitting around waiting for somebody and That's I bet right. you if they can't make it they're also probably feel more obligated to actually reach out <laughs> to England who now they feel they have a personal relationship with to either cancel or change that appointment 
It's so true. I actually get phone calls saying, hey, Ingrid, I'm running like 10 minutes late. Is it okay if I still show up 10 minutes late? And I'm like, absolutely. Come in 10 yeah. minutes late for calling. So right. yeah, so you do. So when, when, when they trust you enough to call you to tell you that they're running 10 minutes late, you're golden. Okay, awesome. All right, so we have our initial video. We have our appointment reminder video. What other videos could we do? So the other video is my absolute favorite is the congratulations on the purchase of your beautiful new home video. So we like to make this fun and every single one of my, my on-site sales team does something a little bit different. So depending on who it is I'm working with, they actually can be goofy or they could be super serious, but still a little bit fun. So it just depends on who I'm working with. But for the most part, we also have a general template for this type of video. Mm -hmm. So basically just congratulating them on the purchase of their new home and how much we appreciate them uh, trusting us to build their new home. So it also allows my, again, my on-site sales team is with the, in the video with me and allows them to say, hey, if you have any questions throughout the entire process or any of the process, you can reach out to either Ingrid or myself and we're here for you. It doesn't just stop now. You know, our relationship continues until the very end, until you move in. Wow, what a feel good video that is, right? I mean, this one I love. I, I agree with you. And I have seen some of those videos and I know you guys make it really, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we do, we love it. It's our, it's our favorite video to send, that's for sure. I've seen some confetti flying around. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can really be very creative and have a great time here because again you want to reinforce to your prospect what a great decision they just made congratulate them on purchasing a brand new home because you know the minute they go home what happens Cold Buy, they get buyers or more so they're like oh my god what do I do <laughs> yes so I bet you that getting that video again it reinforces what a great decision they've made and makes them feel good about it. And it probably does have a little bit of an impact of decreasing that feeling of anxiety and potentially reducing the cancellation rate. Yep, I would certainly say that as well. Uh, we, our cancellation rate is pretty low. Uh, I, I think more so because again, we're reiterating the fact that, hey, our, our, partnership doesn't end because you you wrote the purchase agreement you signed off on the purchase agreement we're continuing this partnership until the very end so if you have any questions throughout the entire process we are here for you ask us anything at any time so again making them feel that this is the right decision for them and we're here throughout the entire process so yeah and i think um you hit on such a great point that a lot of prospects feel that the minute you sign that purchase agreement, then the salesperson suddenly either disappears or doesn't care. Um, you know, so, and they feel like they're just left to deal with, with it on their own. So, right. yeah. So I love that you reinforced the fact that we're still here for you. We're going to be here till the very end. And if you have any questions, you can still come to me, which is, which is great. So yep, absolutely. All right. All right, so you guys, that could be a great video that you can, um, you can do it's such a feel, feel good video. All right, so we have our introduction video, we have appointment confirmation video, now we have our congratulations video. What other videos have you done? So another one of my favorite videos to do is, we actually like to, to send out spotlight videos for some of our quick move-in homes. Uh, because I'm sure every single builder out there has an inventory home that they are wanting to feature uh, because they want to get it off their, you know, off their, their books. So, you know, the great thing is we are able to focus on each of our communities and not just doing a big mass mail of, you know, information about our quick move in homes. This one really highlights the particular spotlight home that we're featuring at that time. So again, we would include my on-site sales team uh, in the video. And really, I love, I love that we are able to play off of each other. So more so of an interview style video, and then we incorporate some photos in the video, some virtual tour type things. Um, and again, this is a little bit more advanced. We do utilize 
you know, iMovie in order to, to, to edit those types of videos. But again, taking a little bit of time to do that increases your open rate and allows your prospects to be able to see and feel the home um, just as like they were walking into it. So, and it gives them just enough information to pique their interest for them to pick up the phone call and say, hey, I want more info about this home. Wow, I love that. Okay, so it's almost like you're sending a video tour of, the, of that particular model, but you're also including the sales team telling them about maybe a quick blip about the community, about the home, what makes it special, what makes this area special, why would you want to buy here? Exactly, exactly. Because at the end of the day, my on site sales team, they are the community experts. Mm -hmm. I pride myself on knowing the information. However, they're going to know a lot of the smaller nuances that that I may not know. So um, it, it allows them to feature, you know, the, you know, whatever the color cabinets are, or, you know, hardwood floors are included in specific rooms of the home, those types of details, I don't typically know. Um, but again, it gives me that credibility to be able to say, hey, you know what, I can get you that information. But again, going back and just creating that partnership, and allowing your prospects to know that there is a partnership here. Um, and we'd love to show you this home. I, lo I love what you're doing here. And you guys, even if you're not an online sales counselor, say you're sitting in the model home, you can utilize very similar strategies, whether or not you have an online counselor. So if you do have an online counselor and somebody is as good as Ingrid, then you can kind of, you know, take that torch and say they didn't um, sign that purchase agreement on the first visit. <gasps> <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no but you know what you're going to continue that relationship with them so what other videos could you send them right think about it so maybe you could send a video about um what the next steps would be you can do a whole video shooting it inside your designer studio uh, mm -hmm. introducing the uh, the designer and saying hey exactly. once you sign that purchase agreement your next step is going to be to select all these beautiful finishes. I mean, people love checking out all the finishes, right? That's the exciting part. That's the part that people are like, oh, ooh, get to make it my own. And again, right. that would be a great warm transition to introduce your designer. That's right. Um, and I love that. I love that you said that because let me tell you, when I first started uh, this position, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I can tell you, number one, I was not good at video. It was horrible. <laughs> no way. You look at you. <laughs> Impossible. So, you know, you get nervous. Everybody gets nervous and that's totally fine. And then when I brought my on-site sales team and I held them, you know, I held their hand and say, hey, we're going to do this video. They're like, no, we're not doing video. But the key to getting your sales team on board to doing it on their own is just repetition. Just let them know, Hey, it's okay. You're going to make a mistake and it's going to be funny and it's going to be goofy and you're not going to like the way that you look, but it's okay. My client always says your face is your face and that's not going to change. <laughs> so it's better to let the prospect know now. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, absolutely. So, and now the great thing is really my, on-site sales team they have done a fantastic job just shooting videos on on their own so they will actually some of them tour you know take the take the tour of their community mm -hmm. um, some of them have shown have featured other local businesses that are in their area that you know so that way when a prospect is looking in that particular community they know the little businesses that are going to be around in that area that's surrounding them um, and sometimes if you're, if you're an on-site sales team and you want to feature one of your valued realtors, you know, mm -hmm. that's also a great thing to feature. There's so many options out there on different types of videos to shoot. I just don't have enough time in the day. <laughs> right. Uh, but I mean, it, it's true what you're saying. So, I mean, one is a warm handoff, right? So even like your loan officer, that would be another great video. Exactly. Two, nobody's perfect. When you first do something, you fall on your face. I mean, nobody feels comfortable on video. The first time you see yourself, it, you literally cringe. Just like right. when you listen to your voice, it's like, oh my gosh, this sounds terrible. But <laughs> you know what? You just got to get over it, right? So the more exactly. you do it, the more comfortable you're going to feel doing it. And think about the, the connection that you're making with people. It's like a relationship, 
you know, it's like speed dating almost, right? Exactly. Because exactly. You're you're shortening that time that people feel how you know how they feel about you, whether or not they're gonna trust you. And so you can speed up that process by right. those videos with them. And mm -hmm. again, you don't have to have a whole production crew. You can start off with your iPhone. And you know what? With our iPhones, they have better camera in them than like the, the video directors had just like a decade ago or two decades. It's crazy. So you have so, way better definition on that. So right, maybe just get a, the, the stick, the selfie stick, <laughs> take a good video or you know, have a tripod sitting on your desk. Um, maybe consider investing in an inexpensive mic, like a lot of mic that I use. You can probably mm -hmm. see it's clipped on mm -hmm. for better sound quality, but it's not even something you really need. You just need your phone. And you know, if you do a quick hi, bye at the end, you don't probably even need to edit it so much. So um, if you want to venture into it, try it out, see how it works. And again, if you're not ready to commit to one of the um, programs that's available out there, you can start off trying it on YouTube. Just all you need to do is go to YouTube, open your own channel. You just make it private so that you can upload the video and nobody else can see that video unless you share that link with the person. And you can try that way and see how it works out for you before you make the big investment in, into one of those programs. And again, um, all things considered, it's, it's not a huge, huge investment, but it'll definitely cost some money. So, but I love that idea. I hope you guys will all feel inspired by the, the different things that you can do and how you can make that transition from an online person to a model a sales representative so much smoother and so much better. I mean, it's, yeah, it's incredible. So I love, I love what you do. I love that you are willing to share those um, secrets with us. Um, I hope you guys all um, do at least one video, start off with maybe that introduction video. I mean, that's a quick, easy video that you can do. Um, maybe write out the script first so that you can practice several times and shoot it several times because probably the last time you shoot it, that's going to be the best take. It's just, <laughs> that works, right? Or the first one could be the best take. <laughs> yeah, you never know. So yeah, take as many takes as you want, right? Nobody, you don't have to upload it right away. So, um, right. so Ingrid, if somebody wants to learn more about you, connect with you, um, what's the best way to, to get in touch with you? You know, you can always find me on Facebook, Facebook. Um, I'm sure everybody's on it. And I'm on Instagram as well, but of course, LinkedIn. So you can just look me up, Ingrid Prince. Um, or you can shoot me an email, Ingrid at IngridPrince.com. Very easy to remember. Um, and if you need any help or want any other additional tips and tricks, let me know. I'm happy to help. It's absolutely something that I love to do. So anything y'all need, I'm happy to, to give you some pointers. Awesome. And what, what's your, uh, your ask Ingrid, right? Hashtag ask Ingrid. There you go, <laughs> you guys. So you can search for that and get That's some right. good advice on how you can take your sales to a whole new level. Well, thank you so much, Ingrid. It's been a pleasure having you on. I cannot wait to see you again in person. Um, are there any conferences that you're attending this year? Yes, so I will actually be at PCBC. Will you be there this year? No, you know what? I don't think I'm going to make it to PCBC. I know, I know. I, I, um, I was trying to see if I could make that, but just spring market is a little crazy right now, a little busy. So I'm going to be traveling to um, Home Builder Tech in Nashville in, in the beginning of May here. So it was just a little. Oh, fun. I'm so jealous. Um, I, wa I wanted to go to that one too, but the schedule has been absolutely crazy. So have fun in Nashville and thank you so much for having me. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. I will catch up with you soon. Sounds good. Thanks everyone. Bye.